Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, it's the weekend from movies to things to do with mom. Renee has you covered. Plus, are you wanting to get in shape but just don't know where to start? Our trainer Joe Carabasi is here with some first step fitness. And bringing a book to life. We're taking you to a stroll in Connecticut your kids will love. We're making your Friday a great one. I don't even want to know. Starting right now. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You made it. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see all of you on this Friday. 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 Nice to see you. And we want to congratulate and thank all the nurses out there because today is National Nurses Day, which kicks off the Nurses yeah. Week. It doesn't come to an end until May 12th, so you can thank a nurse. I mean, what would we do without nurses? Especially Seriously. over the last couple oh of years. God. So we know that all of you out there are just the salt of the earth, and you've done gone way above and angels. beyond. Angels. They're I angels. Mean, really, above and beyond what anyone would ever have expected. And uh. I know it's been a tough time for them, so we want to thank them. Um, and, you know, it goes back to Florence Nightingale. She was the founder of Modern Day Nursing. She was the one who said, hey, let's open up some windows. You'll feel better. And now we know that's true. That, Isn't you know, that all, all through COVID, they're like, open the windows. Florence Nightingale was right. Right. She, and her birthday is May 12th, so it's coming up. So you can celebrate Florence Nightingale by blowing out some candles on a cake. Uh, she was dubbed the lady with the lamp because of her habit of making rounds at night. Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that I either. Learned learned there you go. New. Learn something new every day. All right, so this is also a day of infamy, May 6th, because oh, no. <laughs> it is the day that the Whalers officially left Connecticut. Oh, that was my God. It. That was May the last 6th, 19. Day. This happened before I got here mm. and before yeah. you got here, yes, too. Yes, before. But we, I mean, we, we are post. We're post Whalers. We're post Whalers. We're yes. BW. And I know people are in. Or AW. Blue, they're in blue and green morning After still. Whalers. But. Yeah. yeah, everybody's still in mourning. They wish they would come back. They said that they weren't such a great team, but they had such the best, they had the best fan base yeah. of one of the, any teams in the world. And uh, uh, still, the, the, still the, the merchandise. The merchandise is still the top selling among Hollywood celebs, among, even yeah. though it's not even a team anymore, the right. Hartford Whalers, and Hartford everyone Willis. still is buying I wore a uh, Hartford Whalers hat on my 20 Towns in 20 Days because my Copelman had it, and it started to rain, I didn't have a hat, so I put on the Hartford Whalers hat. And I'm like, what do you have a Hartford Whalers hat? He's like, I love the Hart for Willis. I'm like, all right, there yeah, you go. Yeah, we have several in our house. I, I know could, you do. And t-shirts and jerseys. I'm surprised you don't have a car wrapped with Hartford Whalers decals. Well, no, it's wrapped in wood instead. No, exactly. <laughs> so it's, just, it's the same thing, but we want to say We're hello. We're throwback Thursday every day in the house household. <laughs> um, all right, are you ready to meet the winner of Gerber's 12th annual oh, photo let's search? let's see, let's see. Take a look. Oh, oh so cute. This is... Issa Slish. Oh my God, she's beautiful, right? Spokes baby born September 18, 2021 in Oklahoma and is the first Gerber baby with a limb difference. Yeah, she was, uh, they knew that she was going to be born without uh, one of, without her right leg or por a portion of her right leg. And um, and now she's $25,000 richer. God bless her. That's what she gets for being the Berber, Gerber baby. And she is just adorable. Yeah, and they want, uh, you know, when they, they've been doing this in recently. Look at how, uh, she's so cute. She's it gives so me goosebumps. She's so adorable and they want to raise awareness and, and just promote inclusivity, which I think yes, is so great. Yes, yes, yes. Because, you yes. know, you always think the Gerber baby, there's only one way a Gerber baby can look. So right, they're changing right, right, that. Right, right, yeah. Which I think is just absolutely amazing. So good for her. Congratulations. And here's another heartwarming story. Yay. Yeah, so this was a, a young Yankees fan was so excited because Aaron Judge made a home run and then the ball comes out and he didn't catch it. But what happened, Scott? The man who did catch it, he gave it to this young man and he was so emotional that he got the home run ball that he, he just he just wept in tears. So uh, nine year old Derek, his, that's his name. He's nine years old, tearfully hugged Blue Jays fan Mike. Lanzalotta. I hope I got that right in a heartwarming moment that went viral. So Aaron found out about this and invites them both to Yankee Stadium to the dugout and they attended the next game, both uh, the, boy, the gentleman who caught the ball and the young man who received Aww, the ball. So and the cute. whole moment is going viral. So he, Cause you he's know, such he, a good guy. Look, he's a Blue Jays fan. He catches the ball, but he turns around and gives it to the little boy because he's a Yankees fan. Yeah, because the Yankee hit the home run. He's like, what am I going to do with this? I'm a Blue Jays fan. He's like, what am I going to do with this ball? No. He, 
And the little boy is named after Derek Jeter. That's what a fan he is. Wow. Oh, his name's Derek. His parents' Rodriguez. fan. That's the the parents are the fans. So that's great. God bless. That's really a, uh, that is a heartwarming story. I'm uh, happy to share it with you. That's mm. awesome. You can watch that all over. If you have something bad happen today, just watch that video. You'll feel good. Absolutely. Maybe you did the Wordle. Have you done the Wordle? We uh, we are like the only people on earth who are not Wordle people. I start don't do the Wordle because it's too hard. And I would be feel like a complete failure. Okay, I'm well, not doing it. Uh, a lot of people are doing it. It's been a big boost for the New York Times. The yes. quarterly earnings report is out, and it said uh, that Wordle has brought the company tens of millions of new users to the Isn't site. Isn't incredible? Uh, the Times Absolutely had added incredible. nearly 400,000 digital-only subscribers. Unbelievable. And it bought. The Wordle for we don't know how much money that it was an undisclosed yeah, amount. Yeah, it was a yeah. lot of money though. A lot so. of money. And just a guy created it, so he, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, they said uh, except for a new URL, much of the game has not changed. It is still free, but the Times could eventually make it a subscriber-only game. That, that was would, what everyone was wondering: is like, are they going to start they, charging? They, for, but it seems like they're using it more just as, as a lead magnet. As, of like, come here exactly. and then you'll see what we have and you'll subscribe. It's like the bounty towels in front of aisle six on sale. It's the lead magnet. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, if they put those, uh, I think in a grocery store, correct me if I'm wrong because you worked at Pathmark, yes. it's called a loss leader. They have to take a little loss, loss of the money. Absolutely. And you're like, I can't believe they're selling it for this. But then you go in there and you buy 10 other things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's called loss leader. Good for you, Kara. Mm -hmm. All right. Take a look at the massive two point. What is it? Three? 2.38 carat diamond. Yes, it looks like a rock. It's a brown diamond. He found, this guy found it. He found Adam it hiking. Martin found it, I wouldn't even know what it was. I would think it was like a, a dinosaur turd. <laughs> well, it wasn't. It's a brown diamond, and he sold it already for more than $10,000 and bought himself a new car. Good for him. <laughs> Good thing on the, on the hike, if you find something sparkly, pick it up. And this is not his first find. Harden has found hundreds of smaller diamonds in the past. I'm going where he's going. It's Apparently like he knows he what he's looking this. for. He goes to parks. It's like the old gold rush. He goes yeah. to park, and he just knows that you're supposed to pick these things up. I think that's great. And he's, again, he sold, he sold it for 10000 and he bought himself a new car. I don't so, know what kind of car he's getting for $10,000, but good for him. So we already gave you a daily dose of cute, but if your child often comes home with animals and says, Mommy, Mommy, can we keep it? Well, this yeah, is a happy ending to what could have been a had st sad story. They brought home what they thought was a little puppy. It wasn't a puppy. Oh, Kara, it's a wooja wooja. It's a wooja wooja, but that puppy is not a puppy. It's a coyote. It's a coyote, and the kid brought it, the, the family brought it home. They realized it wasn't a lost dog. They called the Wildlife Center for help. It got separated from his family, this poor little coyote. It tested negative for rabies, and they say that's, that's a good thing because sometimes they can test for positive for rabies. And now they're going to raise it in an outdoor cage with another uh, coyote pup, and they're going to get it ready and hopefully submit it back, you know, they'll, they'll release it back into nature once yeah, it grows up. Yeah, they've got some experts helping them and all that. But they said, that, you know, he's just a little baby. He's no risk at that point. But, you know, when they grow up. Yeah, exactly. Holy <laughs> But macaroni. I guess, you know, he kind of does look like a puppy, except for the ears. Maybe look, the ears exactly, give it away. Yeah, the ears might have given it away. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm like, my... Why do you have such pointy ears? Exactly. <laughs> mm, okay. Mm. All right. So are you looking for something fun to do with your kids that is also educational? Yeah, Melissa Cole has just the thing. Take a look. The egg rolled gently down a hill, slow at first, then fast until it bumped a rock and spun around. The sweetest little voices read pages from the book, Am I Yours? but not in school or at the library, outside along a scenic trail at North Farms Park in North Brantford. It was a COVID idea. It was a COVID idea. Um, the libraries were closed. It was um, fall of 2020, and we were trying to get people to enjoy the outdoors and get outside and do outdoor recreation. So I thought about a story walk. I've seen them in other towns, and we don't have a, a main street here in North Brantford, but we have trails. And so Carrie Haynes, recreation supervisor in North Brantford, reached out to library director Lauren Davis and children's librarian Debbie Varillo to pick a book and make it happen. I thought the book was fun to use because it's about an egg. Um, it's about, uh, you know, a dinosaur hatching out of an egg. These ladies, along with some other key people in town, got creative deconstructing the book and laminating pages for kids to read as they stroll along the trail. Dennis, the pterodactyl, marks the beginning of the story walk, so when you find him, you know you're in the right spot. It's a very easy walking trail, and as you stroll along the path, you're directed to the next page in the story. 
It's a great way of combining literacy and movement, um, combining love of reading and just being outdoors. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Are there spikes along your spine, long and flat and sharp like mine? Follow the dinosaur tracks all the way to the end and you'll find a special surprise. Go ahead, pick one. And what's the response been like from families? Fantastic. I think they just love having a fun and different way for us to connect with the community mm -hmm. and just to encourage reading and getting outdoors, physical activity. This time of year especially, I think with just being inside throughout the winter and just spring, um, I think it's been fantastic. Parents agree. We love to do this. Uh, storybook walks like this are great because they keep the kids engaged and it's something fun for them to do and it gets them out into nature and the woods and so they have a lot of fun doing that and they get to read too. The story, Am I Yours, will be featured until Memorial Day and then be on the lookout for a new book this summer. For a small town, I, I'm really proud of the work that our departments do together, ourselves, Public Works, the libraries. We just, we're a great team. We're a really great team. Great collaborative effort between Public Works, helping ensure the trail is safe, park and rec, having people get out and enjoy the outdoors, take advantage of the great rec space and activities that they offer, and with the library promoting literacy and love of reading. And that's the beauty of working in a small town. It's great. We have two different libraries at each end of town and park and rec in the middle, so we make a great circle, a great team. Just proud of the work we do. Okay, first of all, how amazing was that child who was reading that? Yeah, like, really good reader. Unbelievable. And that's so fun because, you know, we want kids to love reading and to go out there on the trail and see friends and make it fun and make it cool. So kudos to them for thinking of that idea. So that's in North Brantford. That's so awesome, right? And the laminated pages and they're going to switch the books out. So in case you've done the trail before, you can go back and do it again. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. All right, so maybe we'll go out on the trail and read the book. And read the book out loud. I won't, I won't read it as good as that kid. Let me tell you something. That's for sure. Sure. <laughs>